Hi everybody, this is Joe again, CEO of Leela, uh, coming to you both as an amateur boxer, but a high level conditioning specialist and sports scientist who's done a lot of work with world class, elite, Olympic world champions worldwide in multiple disciplines, being boxing, Muay Thai, MMA, karate, Taekwondo, uh, Wushu, Silat. And uh, what we're talking about today is we're talking about putting exogen into striking, specifically with the hands. There's uh, a lot of things to think about when you think about striking, but we're gonna be talking specifically about arm sleeves for three primary things. Number one is working on rotation. Really important to be able to get some rotation to really accelerate that punch and create power and a solid end strike. Two, we're gonna be looking at using it for hand speed and three, just general power, helping you create a little more power and force through the hip and the shoulder and the arm with that added weight. One of the things about Exogen is it's probably one of the best speed tools in the world. Light resistance and training for a few weeks and open that up. The speed that you experience in any specific skill movement is exceptional and we have the proof and we have the affidavits and we have the performance of that worldwide. So the first thing obviously you're going to have is you're going to have your own Exogen kit. If we open up your kit, it comes in this roll up as you see this nice cool roll up. You, what you buy at home will be different. This is my home kit, so please don't cane us because it didn't look like mine. Mine has got lots of little loads in there and pieces. But basically every product gets a roll up. You have your weights on that roll up, all right? All the different size weights, they come in lighter and heavier pieces. And inside that, what you're gonna have are your various pieces. Today we're gonna talk about forearm pairs, okay? A forearm. Or if you purchase the other one that's great for, for striking is the full arm pieces. And we're going to talk about that now. And remember, good wraps, mouth guard when you do partner and spartaning work, and these kind of help. Okay, so for starting out right now, we're going to be talking just about the forearm sleeves. A couple little things to think about. Make sure those sleeves are pulled right up to the elbow. The sleeve is designed to not move much, uh, and that's what the strap is for. And so when you're loaded heavy, your straps tighten down hard and you want to cinch them down nice and nice and high at the top so they grab the wrist one is obviously so you can get your hand in when you put it on again nice and high at the elbow don't be scared to get right up at that elbow when there's no load you can just leave it soft it's great compression but like I said when you're gonna load up strap those down get them on there nice and tight so now you've got your sleeves on comfortable and good we're gonna talk about loading Okay, a couple of things also is there's a spine. If you take a look here, this spine goes down the knife edge of the hand. If you know knife edge from martial arts and Aikido, the knife edge along the side here, okay, that's where the spine goes. Try not to have that over here, over here. If you're off a little bit, it's actually okay. But just try and keep that spine along that spine and that posterior line of your arm, okay? And you'll see it as soon as you get it and you can see it in the straps. Loading is simple, all right? So I'll start with a 200 gram, this is an eight ounce load. All right, so about half a pound. There's lots of ways you can put the load on here. Ultimately, you can put this load anywhere on the sleeve that you want, okay? There's really, there's, there's rules that we guide you by, but there's no exact right or wrong. You can judge that by how it feels. But we have three general patterns that we use and we talk about in loading. The first one is what we call an anterior load. So it's on the front of the arm in some position. Posterior load is on the back of the arm and think about a human standing in a neutral position. An internal load which is on the inside of the arm. An external load which is on the outside of the arm and then last we talk about proximal loading okay and the last one is distal loading and that's toward the list the wrist proximal loading sits up high near the wrist or when you're the joint the rotating joint for that segment distal is away from the joint and as you'd expect at the front you tend to use muscles where that are dominant in the front part of the body when it's in the rear you'll tend to feel muscles that happen to be part of the posterior chain when it's internal muscles that control inward movement external muscles that control external movement internal rotation, external. And the last part, when it's proximal, it's less stress because it's close to the rotating point. And if you know your lever systems, you'll understand why, but just trust me, feel it. 
it'll feel lighter towards the joint. As you move further away from the joint, it starts to feel quite heavy. So just think about that for loading, where you want that feeling. You can move it around on any one of those positions while you're punching and boxing. And I'm gonna walk you through our progressions now that we suggest to start and where to place it as you progress for your first four to six weeks. So now you now understand a bit about anterior, posterior, internal, external, proximal, and distal loading. Uh, again, the best way to just experience and understand that is don't worry about the terms. Just move your weight, feel it in one session. Our first session, we always recommend put a little bit of weight on, use a single load, maybe 200 grams on each side, and play with it. Get a feeling for it, find out what works. That play is really important. So that's session number one. Get that load on, get your gloves on, get your speed bag or your heavy bag or your shadow work, and start feeling your motions. Move it around. But now for boxing, where are we gonna start? If you're over 70 kilos or 150 pounds, your starting point is 200 grams, and you're gonna load that proximal, close to the elbow, with an internal rotation or internal profile, which means the belly, the heavy part, is on the inside of the elbow, just like that. That's gonna do a couple of things. First off, proximal means less stress. We don't want you to get injured. If you start down here, it is gonna feel heavy. You can throw your shoulder out with that much weight, or you can certainly feel it. The other thing is with the load on the internal side, like that, what that's going to do, it's gonna reinforce rotation. As you throw that hip, as you rotate those shoulders, as you release that punch, that arm is gonna naturally move, and that load is gonna naturally, because of pure physics and gravity, it's gonna pull that load down. And this is one of the most exciting things about Exogen, that a lot of people don't understand yet. And I can tell you, you're not just the layman looking at this video, high level coaches, where you put load is more important than how much load. Get your gloves on, that 200 grams there, and start working your drills. Start working your drills. Some of the best athletes in the world are training with these loads. Trust us at the start, start light. Be safe, learn to feel what the product can do, and when you realize, oh, okay, I, I'm not feeling anything, I'm ready for a next progression, go to that progression. So just like weight training, you don't start in the gym with 220 pound squats. You start with the bar, okay? So start with a single load. Light, high speed loading can be as hard on the body as heavy, slow speed loading. Progressions, first two weeks of your program, what we recommend, that single load up high. Internal, proximal, okay? Work that. Spend 30 minutes on the bag, 30 minutes on a heavy bag, 30 minutes of, of, of a, uh, your warm-up session with that load, you will feel it. After two weeks, take your second 200. If you're a bigger guy like me, well, kind of bigger. You're gonna put it in the exact same position, but a little lower down. So now we're gonna progress to 400 grams, a full pound. Same thing, all right? That's week two, uh, sorry, three and four. Now you've got 400 grams, still reinforcing rotation, but getting that load, and really for getting you to think about using that hip. Once your arm gets tired, you have to get more rotation to get it moving. Don't become handsy. As you go, know, especially amateur boxers, no hip, all arms, try not to do that. If you find that happening, take the load off. It's a little heavy. Third week, or sorry, weeks five and six of the program, very simple, one, two, three. Another 200 grams, if it feels a bit heavy, you can do 100 as well, or four ounces, eight ounces, right at the wrist. Now you're into that distal loading. Now we've got load throughout the segment, 200, 200, 200, or half a pound, half a pound, half a pound, a pound and a half. Forget what you know about punching with dumbbells. This is not traditional resistance training. We're in a whole new game here.